Well, this is the area where we set the borax wheels. We built our fire right about in here, but those were seven feet in that area. This is going to be 10, so it's going to be back a little bit further. This is the material that they sent that was no good. I'm going to have to move it. I've got a running gear here, a couple axles. I'm going to move it, some of this other stuff. I've got a couple axles here with rubber tires. They're going to be too close to the heat of the fire. So I'm going to move those, kind of clear some of this stuff out, move it back a little bit so I don't have any danger of causing a disaster. I did get my trailer brought in from out at my playground. So when our tires are set on the wheels, I'm gonna take those wheels, I'm thinking and put them on this flatbed so I can move them around. I did bring my Bobcat into town. Got my forklift over here. Well, it's kind of muddy yet and forklifts don't really like this mud. So I'm gonna use my Bobcat to move some of this stuff out of the way, but I've gotta use the forklift because it's got the boom on it and move my tire out of the way so I can get the Bobcat in to do some of this kind of stuff. So it's kind of a puzzle, kind of a convoluted mess really. But this is where I would like to set tires, hopefully this weekend. When I looked at the weather forecast a week ago, it all looked good. Well, day by day, as we all know, weather forecasts can change. Well, right now, we're talking about a couple of days of rain. So we might be setting tires in the rain. We'll see. Still got a couple of days that this might dry out. It'd be nice if it would. This tote here is what a lot of the parts came over on these Holt wheels. I had the hubs and it's a lot of hardware in here. So I've been kind of just setting this aside, thinking that it'll probably go back home with the wheels.
Well, after all my navigating, kind of stirred things up. I was counting on the alleyway here, having a good solid base so that I don't get my forklift stuck. But we're pretty soft over in here as well. I've got two, three days of maybe better weather that it might dry out. I don't know if I really like this after I get it put together. I do have another option where I have a little more room. I didn't think it was going to be as dry, but actually I went and looked at it and it's a little drier than this. And I wouldn't have the neighbor's cars to deal with. So, I don't know. Him and haw, him and haw. If I don't do it here, I've got another option too. But I've got some things that I need to do inside on the wheels before I take them out. Well, on the inside of the wheels, as they're mounted on the axle, yeah, I don't know that there is a right and left, inside, outside, because they're pretty symmetrical. I'm going to pick a side, but they have these metal rings, two large ones and two small ones, one each on each wheel. Well, these get bolted to the spokes, and since they're already pre-drilled, I would like to set them on the spokes and see if all these holes line up to where I have my spokes now compared to where they might have had them then. I don't know if they're the same, even though I did try to divide these out equally so that they are symmetrical. Don't know until I actually put them on. So I'd like to put this wheel down on the floor because it's inconvenient to deal with it up on the stand. So I need to get this tire out of here and get this down and we'll deal with these rings. And these rings are not flat. It looks like they have been run into by logs in the past in its life. So this is probably 5 eighths by 2. So I'm going to have to try to straighten some of these out. There's one fairly good one and one that's pretty bent, both the small and the large ones.
Well, I'm thinking we're pretty close. I've got just some regular machine bolts I'm going to stick in here just kind of as a test fit. Maybe do this on a four-way cross. Try to get it centered up. I've got some specialty tapered head bolts coming just for this purpose. They should be here within a few days. But so far, we're looking like we're going to be pretty close. Here's one that's a little off, might need a little adjustment there. Just kind of fine tune this. Well, that's kind of closer than I expected, really. 12 spokes, we've got 24 bolts in here and they're all going to go down. Now they've got a special clip on the back side and they've been stamped just for this style of spoke. This is where the bevel is on the corners. That'll go on the bottom side of the spoke and clamp to the ring on the top side. So they're going to fit like so, but just on the other side. We're going to be okay. I just do this for every spoke. I'll leave them a little loose to begin with so I can adjust them if I have to and cinch them down into place. And when my special bolts come, I'll just replace them spoke by spoke. This ring just acts as a deflection ring. So as they're skidding a the log, the log doesn't come up and snap a spoke. It should deflect off of this ring. And the second smaller ring will just go on the inside. And it will actually bolt on every other spoke. Find where that's going to go, somewhere right about in that area. That'll work equally as well. I'm kind of curious what these extra rings are going to add for weight. You have 45 pounds for this small one. I'll add another 50 for the big one. There's 50 and 20, so we have 70 pounds on the big one. 45 on the small, 70 on the big. So there's another 115 pounds, huh? So if I add all these things up, we have with the hub in the wood, we're at 888, 890. These rings add another 115, and I'm thinking I'll probably add another five pounds for bolts. And the tires should be about 460. So it looks like we're about 1470, 1480 total weight on these two wheels a piece. Well, I'm going to run these tires down to where I think it'll be drier before we can do our tire setting party.
Well, I do think I like this setup a little better. It's dried out pretty well here. We've got a nice level spot. I'll build the fire here and then just off to the side, we'll set the wheels and do our tire setting party down here. I like this better than where I usually do it behind the shop. It's pretty muddy down there. Well, one of the last preparations is to take these wheels and move them down to the staging area where we're gonna set tires. The forecast is still calling for rain on the day that I have scheduled to do this, but there's a number of people involved that I can't really navigate that time schedule. Our daughter is coming up from Texas and some locals here have day jobs. And so I kind of have to do what we have to do. We're lucky to have rain in November here in Montana. Could be snow and below zero, but we're not. We're above zero. So we're dealing with water to quench the tires to shrink them on. So I've never melted yet because of rain. We're gonna go ahead and do this on our scheduled day. Appreciate you following along. Thanks for watching.